Okay. Journal project number 15. All right. You can use your journal, obviously. You're going to need paint. Um, you're going to need the blue and you're going to need white. Okay. You're going to need your crayons. You're going to need your sponge. So you're going to need one of these sponges that you have. All right. And you're going to need, hold on a minute. I got to open my page up here. I'm going to open my book already. You're going to need journal or you're going to need to get your stencils and get number 15 out. I already pulled it here. Okay. So you're going to need number 15, which, which let me see here. Here's 15. It is a pumpkin. Okay? All right. So, first thing you're going to do, and you need your drop cloth. Obviously, sometimes I forget to tell you that. You're going to need these sheets. I got them on the sheet page that we're going to use. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take your stencil, your pumpkin stencil, and you're going to outline where you want your pumpkins to go. Okay? You're going to do like a pumpkin patch. Um, I kind of went on two pages, so that's what we're going to do. Okay. All right. Oh, I got a hole in there. That's not good. Okay. Anyway. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. They're trying to let me know my food is here. <laughs> All right. So what you're going to do with these um, stencils are you're going to trace them. And again, I'm really sorry about the shadow, but I can't seem to get the lighting right for some reason. It just does not want to. Well, we're just going to have to deal with it. Sorry about that, guys. All right. All right. You're going to stencil. You're going to color in your pumpkins, okay? And you're going to scribble in them. You're going to do that with all of them, however many you decide to put up. I'm going to do my stem in green, though. All right. Maybe add a little green in here. Pumpkins are all colors. They're red. They're green. They're... They are... There are many colors, actually. I'm going to do a red one here. Okay. Okay, so we're going to... I'm just going to throw lines on this one. And I think I'll use a brown stem. All right. Anyway, you're going to color your pumpkins however you want. You're going to take your watercolors. And let me turn my watercolor brush. Look at that. Okay. You're going to take your watercolor. So you need your cup of water, your watercolors, your brush. This is journal, what number is this? 15. So you probably already know what to get for watercolors. But anyway, so I'm going to, I think I'm going to take my orange paint and I'm going to go over my pumpkin. Okay, now your crayon should resist. You should be able to see. Okay. Let's do. Some red. Oh, yeah, it's going over to my other side. It's picking up. It's picking up my. What do I have over here? Ah! Well, 
I might pick that up a little bit. I don't know. Anyway, this is my red pumpkin. So do your pumpkins however you would like to do them. There are also green pumpkins. Pumpkins, there's white pumpkins, there's yellow pumpkins. There's all kinds of colors of pumpkins, really. We just mostly use orange. All right. So I'm gonna do my green. Now, I'm just being colorful on this because I'm just showing you. Okay. I'm gonna dry this. But here, you should be able to see some of your lines come through. And the pumpkins. I'll probably do this one darker. This one. Okay. Anyway. Different colors of pumpkins. Or you can just use one color and do them all the same, which is what I actually did on the other ones. Alright. I just want to dry this so that. Oh, you know what? See, when I dry this, the wax from the other side comes through. <laughs> I discovered that. That's pretty good. Okay. So, actually, I'm going to go to this page here. Nope, not that page. We already did that page. This page. Okay. So, I've already colored my pumpkins. All right. So, let me take my crayons. Put them away. Okay. Put them away. No. Okay. Sorry, my stuff is sitting on a cart here. All right, so I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to paint my pumpkins. Do these. Yeah, well, let's see what I'm gonna do. Not sure. Hmm. But that will come through. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do I want orange. This one like an ochre color, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, let's see what happens here. Color should I do the other one? Oh, you know what? Let's do this one green and see what happens with the other colors under it. Okay? Why not? Because we can. All right. Let's see what happens. So let's, hmm, looks like a pepper. Anyway, <laughs> it's kind of funny. All right, so I'm going to dry these. So what I'm going to do with the sponge is I'm going to take 
some of this blue paint and I'm gonna mix it. I probably need more now. Let's scoop this out. All right. There's that. All right. Because I don't want to waste anything. I'm going to put this on the end of my sponge. All right. It goes in there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sponge this background. Sorry about this. My late. I wish my late would. Let's see. Can I? This is probably. I'm just going to get shadows. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to leave it. All right. I'm going to tap this on. Okay. All right. Tap, 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 tap. Hit. probably hear my family talking downstairs because I sure can. They're pretty loud. Why they're being so loud. But all right. So I'm just gonna randomly tap this out. Alright. Oops. Now you don't want to get too much like that. You want to keep turning your hand because I wish you could get a line like that. Oh well. See, even I'm not perfect. Might go a little lighter in some spots. Sorry about those shadows. The shadows are really bad. All right. All right. Oh, that's better. Let's see. Oh, there goes my son. He's yelling down there. That's something. Sorry. I don't know what they're talking about, but. All right. All right. So now you got your background here. Now these you can use again. So if you're going to take your scissors and just snip the top off, yeah, now you got a sponge for the next time. Okay? Toss this or do whatever you want with it. But now you have another sponge. All right. So that takes care of that. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dry this. And then I'm going to take some green paint. I think I have some in that dish. I think I do. Take some green paint. Whatever you do, I'm just making a mess over here. <laughs> All right. Now, I gotta do the vines. Now, vines for pumpkins are swirly. Okay. So you're just gonna swirl around and circles. All these curvy lines, okay? Come out. And then you're going to do some leaves because and they don't they don't have to be perfect, just enough that it looks gives you the image of a leaf. Oh, that's pretty. 
pretty big. This is hard to do upside down. I'm telling you right now. If you want a challenge, do this upside down because I can't see a thing. Okay, so you just want to give the impression that that's a leaf, obviously. Alright, I gotta turn this around. Hang on. Oh, I guess that's not too bad. I probably wouldn't have put it at that angle had I been looking at it the correct way. But I've angled it off more this way. But, you know, I can only do so much. <laughs> Pumpkin leaves are big. So they're just kind of big and pointy and floppy. Honestly, that's what they look like, okay? So. All right. I don't know what I'm doing here, but okay. There's journal project number 15. I just have to think of what I'm doing here. Okay, so I need a, a tree, so I'll show you the other one. Okay, and close the book up here. Now you can use a blow dryer if you want. Usable jars in the classroom, right? Okay, so there's this one. And the other one is. I haven't done that yet. Here's the other one. Okay, so this one I did four of them. All orange with a little bit of yellow in the thing. My leaves are a little bit more smaller and sporadic here, a little larger. Three different colors. Okay? So, change up. Do it however you want. And, remember to clean up your mess. Put everything away. That way you'll know where everything is. And I will see you in journal project number <laughs> 16.